Okay, so what else do we have to do this evening? Uh, you're supposed to do a birthday message for Roger Nixie. Oh, a birthday message for Paul Nixie? Oh, he's a little too cold-hearted for that. I'll just do what I do every year. I'll take him out. Once this craziness is all over, I'll get him drunk and we'll talk about how awful everybody is. He'll love it. Uh, no, honey, Roger Nixie. Sarah Nixie? Oh, she's fantastic. So cool, but jaded, just like the brother. Now, Alice, her daughter. I would do anything for Alice. She's beautiful and kind-hearted and sweet. Roger Nixie. Roger Nixie, Roger Nixie, Roger Nixie. Oh, Roger Nixie, I adore him. Why didn't you say so? Oh, my God. Let's start right now. A very happy birthday to my friend. A happy 72nd birthday to Roger Nixie. You're a great guy, and you've raised a wonderful family, albeit with several problematic children. And you know what this time, crazy time, needs right now is a man like you with warmth, kind-heartedness, and wit. Uh, many happy returns to you, and a happy, happy, happy birthday. Forever blowing bubbles. Mwah. Mr. Nixie, your son Paul has told me that you are turning 72. Now, by my standards, that's pretty young. But your 72nd birthday is a birthday worth celebrating. I wish you the best of times. With the travel limitations out there now, I'm not sure we'll see each other at another Liberal Party event for a while. But happy birthday. Enjoy your celebration with Marg, with your children, with all of your loved ones who are gathered around you today to celebrate you. Oh yeah, one other thing. Go West Ham, United! Go West Ham! You're simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone I ever met. Oh, geez, Paul is going to give me hell because he told me not to sing no matter what I did. Roger, I hear you are going to be 72 years young. You've got so much ahead of you. You've got so much that you have to do yet. That bucket list, I think, is about two pages long, isn't it? Anyway, Roger, I just want to say that you are loved very much by your son. He has gone through, jumped through hoops and done everything he could to have so many people wish you a happy 72nd birthday. And I just want to add my name to the list of those who say you are indeed simply the best, better than all the rest. Hello, Roger. I'm pleased to wish you a happy birthday. This year has, of course, been a difficult one. Although you cannot celebrate as usual, it is heartwarming to see your loved ones gather to celebrate you virtually. Thank you for doing your part to keep our community safe during these trying times. And for your exceptional efforts to support our Tri-Cities community by volunteering at Share Society Food Bank every week. It's people like you who step up to help others without being asked to make our community an exceptional place to live. Wishing you the very best on your birthday and an even better year ahead. Happy birthday. Hi Roger, Selena Robinson here, wanting to wish you a very happy birthday. I know that you're a West Ham United football fan, and I also learned, and I was really excited to learn this, is that you are a share volunteer. And I want to congratulate you on, I think, volunteering for one of the best charities there is. I used to work for SHARE and I used to be their director of development and I still support the organization. So I'm going to write to them a $72 check in honor of your 72nd birthday. Have a very happy birthday, many happy returns. Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, Paul, you can stop calling. I'll do it right now. Okay, thanks a lot, bye. Oh, hi there. Well, I have you. I just want to wish a very happy 72nd birthday to Roger Nixie. Roger, thank you for everything that you do to make Port Coquitlam an amazing place. I know that you're a proud Port Coquitlam resident, and we're proud to have you too. Thank you for giving back to this community in so many ways. Your volunteer work with the Sheriff Food Bank is appreciated by everyone in Port Coquitlam. And now by the power vested in me, by me, I do declare today Roger Nixie Day in the city of Port Coquitlam. 
Happy birthday, Roger, from everyone at Port Coquitlam. And Paul, it's never too late to move back to Poco, man. Happy birthday. Roger Nixie, big shout out from the great city of Port Colborne. We're right here at your old alma mater, Port Colborne High School, home of the Blue Bears. Now, we picked one of the best days to film, Roger, because it's snowing, which it does a lot in Port Colborne, as you know, when you grew up. Here's the brand new track and football field. It's a beautiful rubberized track. You were a track star. I actually sought out my brother-in-law, Kent Kilpatrick, who used to do track with. And he does a big thumbs up, shout out, and happy birthday to you. So Roger, my understanding, and as chair of the Niagara Regional Police Services Board, and my friends over at the OPP, your name is uh, still up on the wall at our local OPP station from the days of you racing around Port Colborne. Not sure how that rumor is uh, going to be coming true or not, but that's what they say. So Roger, I really don't have permission to be here. It is the public school board. This is your alma mater, Port High. So we had to sneak on here to do this. And again, happy birthday. So on behalf of everybody from Port Colborne, all your old friends, we wish you a big 72nd birthday. And let's see you again in Port Colborne. And hopefully you have a great day. How you doing, Roger? It's Colton Cole here. Um, I heard you're the best football fan, West Ham football fan, I should say, in Canada. Um, I know you wear, well, you have a bumper sticker on your car, a West Ham United one. Love that geezer. Um, grew up in London. Um, still goes to the matches when you're here. So you're a massive, massive, avid West Ham fan. We all know that already. You wake at ungodly hours to watch the games and where's West United West Ham United gear in Canada. I'm loving this. Turning 72 geese. Bloody hell, that's like that is crazy. 72, going strong. And obviously COVID means that you can't all to be together and you're with your family to celebrate on your birthday. So this is a message from your family to you and hopefully you enjoy your birthday to the best of your ability. Come on, you irons. Come on, Roger. Happy birthday, Roger. It's Stephanie at the Pork Over and Historical Marine Museum, and uh, we're happy to wish you happy birthday from your community museum. I thought I would give you a little taste of this year's exhibit, which is the 150th anniversary of the village of Pork Over. So we think of you often here and the legacy that uh, your dad provided. We feel a little bit close to all the Nixie clan because Harry always spoke of you and his grandchildren uh, on a daily basis. And we hope that you have a happy birthday. Bye. Uh, yeah. Hi, Roger. We just wanted to uh, take an opportunity to wish you a very happy 72nd birthday. And uh, we wish we could be with you, but... Uh, maybe next year. So we want to guess, uh, send a toast to you. Um, you are 72. You're not as young as you used to be. You're not as old as you're going to be. 
Uh, so uh, continue to live uh, each day of your life and continue to spread your joy. Happy birthday, Roger. Happy birthday, Roger. <laughs> Kling. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear granddad. Happy birthday to you. We love you. Have a great day. Yay. Say happy birthday. Hi, right, Roger. Happy birthday, mate. Hope you have a great day. Hope all the family are well over in Canada. Hi, Rog. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Hope you have a really lovely time, whatever you're doing, and love to all the family. And I hope you get to celebrate in some way. And a big happy birthday from Mabel. Happy birthday, Rog. Hi. <laughs> happy birthday, Rog. Come on, you They say you know a person when you know their children. So from both direct and indirect observation, happy birthday to a person who is devastatingly sarcastic, brilliantly quick-witted, relentlessly punny, highly intelligent, and deeply caring. Cheers to you, Roger Nixie. I hope you have a beautiful and wonderful birthday. Hi, I'm Claire McLean. I'm the CEO of Share Family and Community Services Society. I'm just really happy to be here today to wish you a very happy birthday, Roger. Um, I know that it is uh, strange times for sure, but we wanted to let you know that Dorothy and the entire team at Hillside and all of us at Share are appreciative of everything that you do for us and for the community. And we're just wishing you a really wonderful day. Uh, I hope that you guys get to celebrate, that maybe you and Marge get to, um, you know, you know, at least enjoy the day somewhat, despite everything that's going on. And, uh, you know, we just hope you have a really joyous celebration. You have really um, brought a lot of joy into people's lives in this community through your work at the food bank and the welcoming smile that you give everybody uh, when they're coming by the bread table. You know, it, it means a huge deal. And so we're really grateful for everything that you do for the community and for us uh, and just wishing you all the very best on your birthday. Happy birthday, Roger. Hi, Roger and Marg. Hopefully you have a good birthday, Roger. You take care. Hi, Roger. Happy birthday. Really wish we could be out there with you and your family celebrating your special birthday. Anyway, sending love and hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, Roger. I hear it's your birthday. Uh, as Canuck fans, we all stick together. As they say, we're all Canucks. Uh, I wanted to wish you a very, very special birthday. And as you note by my jersey, it's a reflective of the golden era of the Canucks. I happen to uh, feel the same way as you do. Uh, this is a was a special team, special era, and I'm just thrilled to uh, be able to pass along my wishes to you for your birthday. Have a great one. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. And so do the Canucks. Hi, Roger. Happy birthday. It's me, John Catucci. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, Sarah sent me a little note telling me it was your birthday, and because I owe my entire career to her, I feel obligated to send you this little video. Uh, I hope you have an amazing birthday. I know it won't be the same as others, but hopefully you can get back to restaurants and start complaining about how loud they are again. Happy birthday! Okay, Roger. I've been asked to clog for you on your birthday, for your birthday. And I haven't clogged for quite a few years now, <laughs> but I am going to do it just for you because it's your birthday. So happy birthday, Roger. I'm going to just try to sing and I'm going to clog, but you won't be able to see my feet because I'm just doing it on my phone. Okay, there we go. I'll try. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you and many more.
Hey Roger, how you doing? Just wanted to uh, wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday and a toast to your 72 years on this earth. Uh, we wish we could have been with you to share this wonderful day with you, but unfortunately, the way things are, this is it. So, this is what you get. A toast. Cheers. May you have many more, my friend. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Happy birthday, Roger. Congratulations on 72 fantastic years and all the great work you've done and especially all the volunteer work you're doing these days for Share. Keep that up. And just a final grudging congratulations on your hammers being in the top five of the premiership. I can't believe it's true, but uh, enjoy it while it lasts. Happy birthday, big guy. Hello to my favorite friend in the whole entire world. I'm so glad you accidentally made me your friend, what, five years ago, and then Paul didn't let you delete me. You are so amazing. You bring so much joy to my heart every time I see anything you post or comment on. You are the king of puns. And I really wish I could have bought you a goat this year. I also wish I could have come up with a good goat pun, but all goat puns are bad. Um, and I just hope you have an amazing birthday. And you're so amazing. You're so funny. You're so smart. You're so handsome. And have an amazing day. Hi, Roger. It's Paul's friend, Dr. Ryan. You may not recognize me with the mustache, but I'm here in the winter wonderland of Edmonton, Alberta. I'm uh, just wishing you a very wonderful birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, Roger! Happy birthday, Roger. I'm so excited to be wishing a happy birthday to someone who's older than I am. Doesn't happen very often anymore, so it's a delight. We always have a wonderful time when our families get together, always a lot of laughter involved. And I hope we have a lot more years of being the brunt of our children's jokes and enjoying many more birthdays where I will continue to be younger than you. Happy day. Greetings from Ontario, Roger. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday, Roger. All the best to you. Hoping you and Mark many more years of health and happiness. Take care, buddy. Hey, Roger. It's your American BFF here wishing you a super happy birthday from the land of freedom and opportunity. Everything is great here, really. Um, I know celebrating is a little bit different this year, but people all over the place are thinking of you and um, wishing you the very best in this year to come. I hope it's a great one. Roger, Roger, Nixie. It's me, friend Jen Arden, and I know that years ago you came to see me. And I said the F word too many times for your liking. So I'm here to apologize to you on your 72nd birthday. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi, Roger. 72 years old. 72. How did it happen? I bet you feel like you just turned 70. This was a book by Paul. Um, and I know that you guys can't get together for your birthday. And I know you're probably going to have like 72 people you invited, like 72 small ponies, and you had like 72 food stations planned and 72 maids of milking. And I know 72 is big. I know that. But you know what? Paul just wanted you to have something special, like me, like jumping out of a cake. But, you know, that wouldn't work for COVID either. So I'm just here on your phone. I'm just here on your phone wishing you the happiest birthday. But yes, you did come to see me with the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra, which is one of my favorite all-time shows. And uh, I know that you said great concert to Paul, Roger, but, but you were scandalized. Paul followed me through... Uh, Walmart to get me to do this video for you because it's not easy getting me to do this stuff you know there's a lot going on and it cost Paul you know like eleven thousand dollars it's okay it's your birthday Roger you know I hope you have cake I hope you have a sparkler I hope you know how loved you are and I hope you have a great fucking birthday <laughs> Paul told me to say that Roger 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dearest Roger, turning 72. Happy fucking birthday to you. Paul told me to do that. Roger, don't blame me. Happy birthday. Hi, Roger. This is Jatinder. Just wishing you happy birthday on behalf of all essential workers. Thank you so much for staying at home and taking care of yourself. And thank you so much for the uh, 7 o'clock cheer. Hi, this is for you, Roger. Happy birthday, birthday Roger, Roger, young, young man. man. 72 since, since you began. began. We, we wish, wish you the best. best. You still got, got some zest. zest. Congrats, Congrats to the, the best West Ham fan. Cheers. Cheers, Roger. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Roger. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Roger. Tamara and wait, 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 wait. Sussy. Yeah, oh, he's saying messy because he knows that you love soccer or football. Is it soccer or football? Sussy. Oh, are you okay? I, I didn't mean to touch you. Oh, no, I have a wounded child wishing you happy birthday, Roger. Roger, you're 72 years old, and we want to wish you a happy birthday because we really care about you, and we love you, even though... Oh, who's mean, Roger? No, or probably me. me. Probably me. Oh, Roger, you're 72. Can you wait, say wait, wait. what? He's a sassy. Yeah. Uh, he said that Messi is the best soccer player there is. I don't know, Roger. <laughs> I just don't know. I know you like the West Ham um, mm -hmm. Irons. Is that what they're called? Or the yeah. Bubbles? The Forever Blowing mm -hmm. Bubbles? That team. Whatever that team is. That's mm -hmm. the one that Roger likes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Roger. We love you, Roger. Yeah, we Happy love you, birthday. Roger. Happy birthday! Bye. I'm sitting here locked down in my room, you see. This is as dressed up as I like to be these days. I've been so bored, I'm crawling up the walls of supplements. I've felt my spirit fall, but then I heard it was your birthday roger nixie you were the reason to celebrate your existence you've always been so kind to me and treated me like family and i hope you'll be so happy on your happy birthday happy birthday roger nixie all my love to you Wishing you health, happiness, and long life always. Mwah! Hi, Roger. It's Susie McEwen wishing you a very happy birthday. Um, as a healthcare worker, I'm so appreciative of the 7 p.m. cheers and for staying home and wearing a mask and keeping us all safe. Uh, sorry that it's a virtual birthday this year, but you know it's a do-over, right? None of the birthdays this year count. So happy kind of a half a birthday and uh, hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Hi, Roger. Just a quick word, mate. Wish you happy birthday. I understand you've got a 72 coming up. Good for you, mate. You look well on it. Mind you, that song they sing in the East End of uh, London, Any Old Iron, is that about you? <laughs> Hopefully not, mate. Anyway, um... And as long as normal service is resumed as soon as possible and Man United get back above West Ham in the league, I'll be a lot happier as well. Okay, but you're doing well at the now, mate, yeah. Um, hopefully soon we can get together and have a beer and celebrate something or even just have a good old chin wag. Um, take care of yourself, mate. Happy birthday. And just make sure Marg gets lots of jelly deals on your birthday cake. Okay, son. Take care. Talk soon. Hi, Roger. When Sarah first informed Cindy and I that you were turning 72 in December, 
we both entered a state of shocked disbelief, wondering how could Roger possibly be that old. After only a little bit of reflection, however, the question quickly and understandably became, how can Roger be that young? Seriously, we regret that we will not be able to celebrate with you in person, but we do want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Hi, Roger. It has been brought to my attention that you are celebrating your 72nd birthday, and it would be my great honor to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Roger. Happy birthday to you. And of course, many, many more. Happy birthday, Roger. Hi, Roger. We just wanted to send you a quick video to wish you a happy... I'm hot. I'm kind of hot too. Yeah, me Hang too. Hang on one sec. There, that's more comfortable. Happy birthday, Roger. Happy, happy birthday. Roger. All the best. Have a great one. Hi, Roger. It's Tanya and her lover, Tim. Hi, Roger. Ready, one. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Wait, jolly? I mean, is that appropriate? Doesn't that suggest robust? No, no, it's jolly good fellow. It's a good thing. Jolly good, okay, I see. Okay. Okay. For he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. But somebody could deny it. I mean, if Roger was having a bad day or something. No, oh, no. He's a good fellow. Jolly good fellow. Okay, that's good. Happy birthday, Roger! Hi, Roger. Happy birthday. Sorry for crashing in on your otherwise respectable birthday party. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that you are my favorite punster. I thought maybe it was going to be Paul after a few years, but then you weighed in with a few new puns, and I was like, mm. Roger's got 30 years of dad jokes on Paul, and right now you win hands down. So as the most uh, respectable and upstanding um, uh, ode to you on your birthday, I decided to write you a poem. <clears throat> there once was a young man named Roger, whose birthdays made him an old codger. So we rigged up this Zoomer to toast that old boomer New tech now in check, Roger Dodger. Happy birthday, Roger. Happy birthday, Roger. Happy birthday, you old codger. <laughs> fingers you... crossed, see you in the spring. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> Hi, Roger. Vancouver City Councilor Pete Fry here, and uh, happy 72nd. Go West Ham. I like Paul. And a rather spontaneous message request we haven't met. I am very fond of your son. So obviously you've got some kind of magic thing going on that you could help nurture a guy like this. So Roger, Roger that, you're good people. Hi, Roger. Happy birthday. It's my wife Dawn. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you.
Happy birthday, Roger. Hmm. 72. Yeah, I'd still hit that. Let me know when you get tired of Marg. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Roger, at 72. We're here in uh, Palm Springs. It's rather warm and I wish you were here, but you're not. So we'll just say happy birthday. So like, you don't even know me, but my name's Billy and I wanted to say, hey, Roger, have a really happy birthday. And my shy friend here says, Happy birthday, Roger, from Patty. Five, four, three. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I'll call you right back. Okay, thank you, bye. Hi, Dad, hi. It's me, Sarah. Happy birthday. Um, we love you so much. We just wanted to get all these people together uh, to wish you the happiest of birthdays. Uh, your kids love you. Your grandkids love you. Your wife, Marg, loves you, your entire family. And look at all these people who also got here together to say happy birthday. It's been a tough year and we're getting through it. You're doing it. Uh, so good on you. <laughs> good on all of us. You're, we're tough people, right? And by this time next year, we'll be able to celebrate together in person and we'll be able to hug each other. And I don't know if we'll ever blow candles out again on cakes that might be done, but uh, maybe by the time it's my birthday, even next summer, we can get together if you're in town. Um, that would be great. Hold on, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna, sorry, just one second. Hi, Sarah speaking. Christia Freeland, well, oh, okay, uh, yeah, this is her. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, what? There is a pandemic, yes, and times have been tough, but we can't wait to celebrate you. You're just slightly older than you have been all year. Happy birthday, you're 72. Let's recount the days you were 71. Oh, so many to explore. That time you wore a mask around your face and you went shopping to Superstore. You also went to, you also went to Home Depot in that furniture place Running errands, oh yeah, it's been fun. You bought a new rug, a new coffee machine. It's been wild being 71. Oh, don't forget the days when all you could do is cuddle with Marg around your new fireplace and socially distance with us in our smelly garage, a rare chance to meet face to face. Your days filled with replays of big soccer games Sure, they're from 1994. Such a thrill when you already know who won. Who said this year's been a bore? Yet amidst the hours you spent sanitizing your hands and doing just what is expected, age 71 has dished up a reminder about the importance of being connected. We're so lucky to have you. You bring much to our lives. We value the care that you take, your knowledge of history, places, and facts. Your reminder to give our heads a shake. Our connection is strong, even though things have been hard. As a team, there's no chance we will lose. So may 72 bring you more live hugs from your team. Happy birthday to the dad that we choose. We love you, Raj. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Roger. birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, Roger. We hear it's your birthday coming soon. 72. Let's sing a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Happy birthday to you, pretty bubbles in the air. Happy birthday, dear Roger. They fly so high, nearly reach the sky. Happy birthday.
Hey Dad, happy birthday. Uh, I know it's a little weird this year with COVID, but I wanted to just make sure that uh, you know how much you're loved by friends and family, and I hope you've got a little kick out of this video. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a challenging year, but uh, it's not all bad. Um, look, I got a new car. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's, you know, soccer's never really been my thing, so um, I think I'm, I'm just gonna Hello, Roger. Happy birthday. You're about four years older than me, three and a half anyway. But I'm, uh, I've heard from your family, who love you very much, that it is your birthday coming up. Well, these are bleak times to have a birthday, but it's nice to get notes and little films of people who would like to say something. I love the fact that you love Barn on the Beach, and I love the fact uh, that uh, you played Puck a few years ago now. I did too. Uh, I, uh, uh, I could tell you, if we were in contact, um, some good stories about uh, Midsummer Night's Dream and my experiences, but uh, wasn't it wonderful? Do you remember? those last few lines as you were left, perhaps on stage, on your own, or maybe the cast was behind you, or if we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding, but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend, if you pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, if we have unearned luck now to scape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long, else the puck a liar call. So good night, and to you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore Amends. Blackout. Happy birthday, Rog. It'll be a good day and a better year in 21 to you and your loving family. You were absolutely scandalized.